Some Pokemon in the game will only evolve when they have a high Pokemon happiness. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can raise Pokemon happiness the easiest way possible. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using this Riolu and evolving it into Lucario with these methods. So the first thing is you're going to want the Riolu or the Pokemon in question in your party and you want to use it with the Soothe Bell. Put the Soothe Bell into the Pokemon's held items because this will increase its friendship a lot quicker. You'll be able to get the Soothe Bell at the mansion just south of Heart Home City, currently where we are now. When you enter the mansion, you'll be able to find a Soothe Bell as the Pokeball item that you pick up somewhere inside the building. You'll also want to make sure that you actually make your Pokemon walk together with you so that you can see the Riolu in the overworld so that it's walking around with you. Now, if you haven't done this in the day already, you can go to Veilstone City and you can get a lot of friendship quite quickly. This can be done if you're at the bottom left of Veilstone City and you enter this building over here with this bold guy standing outside of the door. I can say bold because I'm bold too, so it's okay. I'm not making fun of him because bold people are cool. <laughs> anyway, all you have to do is speak to this lady here and she can give a massage to a Pokemon that will increase its friendship. So you can only do this once per day in real days, so uh, choose wisely. I should also note that the rare berries, like the ones like Grepa Berry, Hondu Berry, Quellot, Calypsi, Pomeg, Tomato Berry, these ones that will actually reduce the EVs on the Pokemon for various types, when you feed them to them, it will also make them more friendly. So if you're trying to get a Pokemon to friendly quicker, you can use this method, but highly, I highly suggest probably keeping your rare berries because they are rare. Now, if you're looking to get a Pokemon to evolve by happiness as soon as possible, it is going to cost you an arm and a leg, but you can do this at Veilstone City. From the Pokemon Center, you're going to head to the Pokemon Shop department store over here. In the store, immediately go up the escalator to the second floor, and you're going to speak to the lady in the middle over here. Now, she is going to sell you different EV boosting items that can boost your EVs. Now, you should note that each of these items will boost your EVs by 10, so at most you'll ever need is 26 for one stat because you can't go higher than that. However, they are quite expensive, but one thing you should note is that they do increase the friendship for your Pokemon by quite a lot. And I mean, like, when you're making a competitive Pokemon for, like, a Riolu, it will evolve the next time it levels up. You don't have to do the other method I'm going to talk about soon. And lastly, since this method I'm going to be using is going to get you a lot of money, you want to put an amulet coin item onto your main Pokemon that is going to be one-shotting all of these Pokemon that is going to get you 16,000 Poke Dollars every single time you kill a Pokemon, which is which is going to be great. And will actually help you fund buying those uh, those calciums and those, those, those protein items if you want to level up instantly. Now when you're ready, we can go back to outside the mansion here, just south of Heart Home City again. And you'll find this old couple over here, the old man and the old lady. They will be battleable by using the VS Seeker item. Essentially, when you use this item, it will actually let you re-battle people or Pokemon trainers that you've battled before. Now, it is worth noting that when you battle these people, you will increase your EVs. The lady on the right will increase your EVs for a special attack. The guy on the left will increase your EVs for normal attack. So every time you beat one of these two trainers, you should be getting 16,000 Poke Dollars, which is a lot of cash to, to rack up quite quickly. But you'll also be getting friendship and experience for your Riolu, who is second in the party. Now, if you're doing this without having fed berries or the proteins to the Pokemon, or you haven't gotten a massage in the Veilstone City, it should take you roughly about 20 battles between the two of them, which should also get you about 320,000 Poke Dollars or more, depending on how many battles you do. The Riolu should evolve by the time it reaches level 28, 29, 30, 31, within the area over there. Depends on how much you like run around in a circle. And the last tip I have to give you, since this is a Riolu, a Riolu can only evolve into Lucario, during the daytime. So just make sure if it's nighttime, there is a reason why it's not evolving. You have to do it during the day. Other Pokemon might have different kind of gimmicks involved as well. And apart from contests and feeding Poffins to the Pokemon, that is how you can get your Pokemon's happiness increased in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.